All right, guys. Hey, this is Rod's Geo, and he's going to tell you all about it because uh, this car has been interesting. Go ahead. So originally I bought the car for $50. I bought two of them at the same time. Uh, did a motor swap because the other motor was knocking real hard. Um, been driving it on that motor that I swapped into it for well, since about April. Um, finally realized that there was a blown head gasket in this one. Tore it down last night. And I, I got to reading online on some of the geo forums that you can take 40 thousandths off of the original stock head and decrease your combustion chamber size and it'll add um, well it'll take it from 47 horse to 55 horse on just that and timing alone and this this is just a old head that I had laying around from the other engine but as an example uh, this one's actually already been done I didn't realize that before is this because if you look at the space here between the intake studs and the exhaust studs on the base of the head you can see where there's already been material taken off but with that and we're believing that the cam that's already that was already in it this one here is an XFI cam should put me at about 57 58 horse in the geo which right now since it's an automatic I'll lose maybe 10% of that and how we figured out that this head besides the obvious here was we found there's a heat plug in the end of it here heat tab so the previous owner he was he's a really cool guy he's our neighbor and he used to use these geos for uh, running papers so he has a lot of spare parts Rod here keeps going to him. My friend Glenn's got one of them. So we got geo parts for days. So this is his project. Now when he told me about it this morning, I was like, what? You can take 40 thousandths off? So I had to go look it up. And yeah, you can. Now there have been some people that have taken 100 thousandths off the head. But then you got to space it up. You gotta run a different timing uh, tensioner pulley. You have to get the one off the 1.3 four cylinder, and you can run that to tension the timing belt. You'll also have to find uh, a spacer or adjust your studs to move your intake and exhaust up. But you can take it all the way off. The, there's no physical way, according to what I've read. Uh, that you can make a uh, G10, which is this three-cylinder, a interference motor. It doesn't matter how much you take off the head. Because you got the valve reliefs. Yeah, they're, you got valve relief in the cylinders. Which, they are pretty deep. So, yeah, guys, this is just something that... Uh, he's maybe in this Geo, what? Under 500 bucks or right at 500 now? I'd say about five. But not bad for. He bought, mind you guys, two of them. But one good one. We had to take two to make one. So for $100 plus reg, everything else, I think he came out to 250 bucks. And this is the first thing besides doing basic maintenance like the brakes. This is the first major thing we've had to do to this motor, the one that we swapped. But this is going to be an interesting project. I'm definitely going to be doing videos on this. I just wanted to get it out there that you can have some fun with a Geo. This is just going to be crazy. I have never seen one of these things actually pushing out how much compression, theoretically? 11 to 1. 11 to 1, guys. 11 to 1. And that's on pump gas running 87. Because they prefer 87 over anything higher due to pre-knock. So, hey, let's see how it goes. You'll be with us all the way through it. But, hey, that's the video. 
Leave some comments. See ya.